Hello everyone and welcome back to Chris's Collection. Um, so today we're continuing the Resident Evil games with uh, Resident Evil Dead Aim. So uh, this was a really weird time for Resident Evil because um, Resident Evil had uh, become a, um, a, a, game, a Nintendo exclusive. Nintendo was, a big deal was made where uh, Nintendo was basically like, yes, we are going to be releasing uh, the main series, Resident Evil games, are going to be exclusive for the GameCube, uh, you know, for through Resident Evil 4. And what they were going to do was, first in, I think it was 2002, they were going to release a remake of the first Resident Evil, then they were going to release Resident Evil 0, which was a prequel. Then they were going to make ports of Resident Evil 2, 3, and Code Veronica and release those on GameCube. And then finally, uh, Resident Evil 4 would come out and that they promised all these would be exclusive to GameCube. Uh, they're not now. Uh, you know, Zero and, and Remake are on um, modern consoles with the HD remaster. And of course, um, 4 was ported to like fucking everything. But back then you know it was exclusive and uh so but uh they there's like a little wiggle room because they were like but the spin-offs are still coming out on ps2 so this is one such spin-off this is resident evil dead aim which was actually um in, in japan part of the gun survivor series the guy I, I have played already resident evil survivor this is essentially the second survivor game released in america because they did Resident Evil Survivor, uh, which was Resident Evil Gun Survivor, an original game. Then they did uh, Gun Survivor 2, which was actually a retelling of Code Veronica. I think canonically it's that Claire is having a nightmare of what she just did or something like that. And it's, uh, you know, those events. Uh, that was, I think, a Namco arcade release, but it also got a home console port in Europe and in Japan, but never here in America. So we never got it. And then um, the third Gun Survivor game was Dino Crisis based, and I think it did come out in America. Anyway, this was the fourth one, and it was, I believe it was called Resident Evil Gun Survivor 4 or something like that. But here in America, it was called Resident Evil Dead Aim. And um, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a shitty game. Um, it's really weird. See, so like you play in first person, and it's kind of like tank ish controls, right? Uh, but then when you, when you press aim, you go into, like, this, you know, shooting mode where, how do you shoot? How do you shoot? Oh my god, how do you shoot? I'm pressing, oh. I see. Okay, so, you press the shoot button and then it it takes you to the shoot mode and then see you could shoot and then when you move it takes you out of it okay so anyway um this was uh sort of a dead aim <laughs> and um i don't know i mean it was okay it was kind of weird uh game uh for its time um you know i i bought it because it's canon it is actually canon this is um bruce mcgurvin is a uh, main character. Oh, gee, good lord! I'm so sorry. Uh, this character's name is Bruce McGurvin, and this is entirely canon to Resident Evil. Um, what is this? Oh, cool. Still holding something. Oh, a key. All right, cool. I think we're gonna fight him now. Oh no! Oh, I could have sworn he was like the first zombie we fought. Here we go. So see. <gasps> Whoa. So that is how you do combat in this game. Combat is all about that that button you press, and then it it does its thing. Um, it was kind of funny because this game was on a boat, and and like I felt like they tried doing boats so much in Resident Evil. Like they did uh, this game, and then there was the Uncannon um, Guiding game, uh, Resident Evil Guiding, that uh, was also on a boat, and then Revelations was on a boat. So, I don't know, just boats. Resident Evil always try to do boats. And, you know. Um, 
God, I don't know what else to say about this game. Uh, I I was excited. Yeah, I was pretty excited. I remember watching trailers and and you know being stoked about. It. I was living here in Miami already, and I I went to my local Planet X. That's where I would get all my games, and um, I bought it and uh, I played it, and I thought it was pretty cool. It was kind of a short game. I remember I finished it fairly quickly, uh, and this was around the time that we were all like salivating for RE4 because. It was still being made and it hadn't been released yet. We had gotten the GameCube games and we were just like, please give us something, God. Um, so, yeah, I did get it then. And we were living in my first house, yeah, when I got this. Um, it's not bad. I mean, I, I if you're, like, a huge Resident Evil fan and, and you want to play all the games that are canon, this is canon. So... Oh, look at that side still. Oh, this is canon, so, you know, technically, but it's not required reading. You understand what I mean? Like, it's not, you don't have to fucking play this. But uh, anyway, guys, um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, we will be here. Uh, the cover is really cool, though. It's awesome. It's, like, really fucking cool. But uh, anyway, so we will be here uh, later this week with another uh, Resident Evil. We still got more of these... Uh, Resident Evil PS2 spin-offs to go through so uh, come back later this week for that. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Take care.